You're watching Play Replay with Async. On this video, I want to talk about the new Mario Brothers movie. I mean, it's cool looking. I mean, this is something that I would want to get to as soon as possible. Whereas Sonic, the Sonic movie is not the greatest, but it's it's it looks like Sonic and everything, but it's done in the real world. That's not my thing. I always wanted it to do a CGI a well done CGI movie for these things. So Sonic would do well with a well done CGI movie. It's not a bad movie, but it would do much better if it's all CGI so you could have him in his world and everything. But this is not about Sonic, okay? The Mario Brothers movie looks and feels like the Mario Brothers that I've always wanted. I mean, I just love the, the, whole, the whole look of it and everything. And I don't, I don't really watch these CGI kids cartoon type movies, really. I'm not into, like, I mean, even Toy Story. I'm not really, a, it's, it's there. I seen it when it came out, but it wasn't, a, it wasn't anything I was really into. Because I don't have any real ties to Toy Story as, like, a, something that I spent a lot of time playing as a kid. But Mario Brothers, now, I've spent a lot of time in my life playing Mario Brothers through all the incarnations on all the different systems and all the different ways. And I think I like the three-dimensional Mario Brothers, like uh, Mario 64, um, Mario Sunshine, or those type of games more than the original. I know that's got to be like blasphemy somewhere, but that's kind of how I feel about the Mario, because they're just fun. It's fun to live in that world for a little while, you know, and be able to spend time and solve puzzles and try to get into different places and get through different worlds and stuff. It's just more, it's just entertaining. I mean, the Mario, technically, one of my favorite ones is the Super Mario um, 3DS game, Super Mario 3D World or whatever that is. I might be mixing it up with the Wii U version. Uh, don't quote me on that. But anyway, so yeah. That's a really great game, and that one, that feels like what we're seeing on the big screen with the Mario Brothers movie. And, I mean, I'm kind of old, so I was around when that 80s uh, pile of crap came out, that, that 80s Mario movie came out, that was just wrong in so many ways. It's so wrong. But this version, <laughs> they finally, after all these years, they finally got it right. And now we're going to get something that hopefully will spawn a franchise of Nintendo movies. Well, Mario movies for one, but Nintendo movies in general. And hopefully they're done right. Um, Nintendo, I don't think they're very woke. So I'm hoping this movie does not have anything in it where um, Princess Peach is going to beat up Mario throughout the whole movie, talking about how stupid he is and all that stuff, and she'll become the, the main new Mario or something. Hopefully that doesn't happen, because um, that would really screw everything up, because Princess Peach is a well-beloved character, just like Mario and Luigi. Um, but, you know, you got to have Princess Peach in it, so she's a respected female character. So you don't have to beat us over the head just because there's a well-respected female character in the story. You just got to use her just the way she's just the way she fits with the story. Now, if you watch the video games and how they play out, she's the damsel in distress. And I understand that a lot of feminists get upset and want to cry about that because, you know, women just don't need men no more, I guess. They just don't need them anymore. So that's why they... That's why we get beat over the head with every single movie and every single thing where the main character is a big dumb guy and he's just too stupid and the woman solves it for him because he's not very smart, you know. And every uh, sitcom since God knows when has been the dad is always a big dummy, right? So I'm hoping they're not going to do that with the Mario Brothers movie because the Mario Brothers movie is it should be fun okay it should be fun for everybody of all ages it should be the new as far as i'm concerned the mario i think if this movie does well this should be the new 
Disney. It should be Mario Land instead of Disneyland. Because Disney, they've had their time. They've ruined their chances. They've completely destroyed their everything. They've completely gone so woke that they can't allow customers to um, like their stuff without beating them over the head and telling them how you're racist, sexist, everything. If you don't like what they're putting out, well, they just want to beat you over the head with some crap because it's they, you're, you're supposed to like everything that they put out. No matter if it's woke, whether it's telling you because you're white, you're a bad person or because you're a, um, a man and you want to see somebody on the screen who looks like you and there's not being, um, dim, you know, turned into an idiot. Well, you know, they don't like that. So, and I just, and there are plenty of good female characters in Disney but for some reason, they want to turn them into men so they can beat up the men with them. Uh, I don't know what that is, but they want these women that act like they're men, which is very weird because shouldn't a woman want to be a woman and act like a woman, not a man? You know, not, you don't have to be. You could be a strong, courageous woman, but still look and act like a woman. You don't have to be this woman that carries around a stick beating up people, you know? But whatever, that's, I'm sure that will offend somebody somewhere, but that's the way I feel. So, getting back to Mario, Mario is really kind of giving me hope. This new Mario movie looks like it, it just looks like they did it right. Now, I know Chris Pratt is not an Italian guy, so I know that you can't, you can't have somebody act like an Italian character, you know, because... We've never had anybody act like they are something that they're not, right? So anyway, Chris Pratt, I think he sounds okay. I I noticed that in all these trailers, though, they do kind of keep him so he doesn't say much. But if you actually watch the video games, Mario doesn't say much, okay? Mario 64, the most he said is, eh, uh, it's me, Mario. You know, he does that type of stuff. But uh, <laughs> I, you could play with his face on that, whatever, the menu, which is really weird. I don't know why they chose to make it towards you could stretch his face and it's, it's very strange but six the nintendo 64 years were very kind of experimental so i could see why they they would try something like that because they were trying all kinds of new stuff but i just think that this movie is going to do well i'm not gonna don't quote me on this but i i have a feeling this will do if if everything works out i think this will make a, a billion dollars i think this will do well a billion dollar franchise for a Mario thing would be great. And I would I would assume that they were going to do like a part two, part three and just keep it going. OK, because I mean, this franchise could go a long way. We need a new CGI cartoon thing since uh, Disney's movies are all just just collapsing left and right. They can't do anything but um, just social justice crap in there their CGI stuff for kids, which is very strange. So Disney can just go die as far as I'm concerned. Let's go with Mar let's go with uh, Mario now. This will be the, the, the age of Mario instead of uh, Mickey Mouse. How about that? How about this become the age of Mario and forget Mickey? But yeah, just I, I just look at this trailer and I'm just like, Mario is acting like Mario. Uh, Bowser is definitely Bowser. I mean, all the characters, they feel like the characters. And they're nothing like that 80s uh, pile of crap that came out years ago where they were just not, they didn't have the technology, so they shouldn't have done it. They just shouldn't have done it. Just because something's doing well in the decade that it's in doesn't mean you can do a movie for it if you don't have the technology to do it right. So that's my thoughts. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. Um, I, I just have a feeling that this, this movie is going to do really well for the CGI movies that we get with, with these kids shows. Because this movie is going to attract a lot of people. People my age, kids, everybody's going to be. I mean, Nintendo Switch is a highly popular uh, um, a console, a handheld, and... It just seems like this is like the, the, the perfect time for Mario to just kick off and just become this new trendy thing that everybody's into. And I'm hoping it's not just a trend. I'm hoping that if they do it right, this will be a, 
a new thing where Nintendo now gets a bunch of uh, video movies and stuff out there that people can watch and enjoy. Because I would like to see a Legend of Zelda uh, movie. Now, with Legend of Zelda, it might be a little... It might be a little harder, I think, because there's different incarnations of Legend of Zelda that people probably... Some people like, like, uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. You know, that has a very different art style than, say, Legend of Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild or Legend of Zelda um, The Twilight Princess or something like that. So you you get different looks. And I think if they did do a Zelda movie, I think they would try, try to keep it kind of basically like the original, like try to stick to the most basic form. They might do some little nods to those other things in the movie, I think. But I think that they'll stick to the basics. But I'm getting ahead of myself. we got to get this Mario movie to do well first, I think. And then that'll kick it in high gear so we can have all these other stuff, things. I mean, this movie seems to be using the Mario Kart stuff, too, in it. So they're really smart. They're doing, you know, Smash Brothers. They're doing all that stuff in this movie, it looks like. So... It makes me wonder if this movie kind of feels like a just it's it feels like the the big Nintendo movie. And I don't know if they'll they're going to do like they do with other stuff where like uh, the Lego movies or whatever where they have so many different characters from all these different things in it. I don't think they're going to do that with the Mario movie. But you know they got uh Donkey Kong and stuff like that in there, but he was in the very original version of Mario. So yeah, it's just something to think about. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out there and just kind of give my thoughts on this movie. Some, because it's a, it's something I actually like. You know, I'm not. I I like to talk about the things I love, and not just talk about the things I hate. You know, but this is something I really love. I think this will do well, and this will actually get my butt into the theater because, I like the Sonic movies. I didn't go see them in the theater. Uh, the I'm trying to think of other ones um like wreck it ralph and stuff like that it's just it just that wasn't i didn't have any uh any ties to that in my past to kind of want to go see it you know and i didn't really care for them you know but this will definitely be one of those movies where i'm like all my life i've been playing this game and now i can see it on the screen which you know i'm sure it's not gonna be as good as playing the game because you're gonna want to play the game i think after watching the movie but it's going to be great, I, I think. I think it'll do well. Families will love it. And as long as it doesn't have any agendas in it and it just wants to be fun, I think it'll do great. I think it. I think families are looking for a movie that they can take their kids to and not have to worry about the agenda that's being pushed on them through whatever they're trying to sell, you know? So anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below. And like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.